out, hunting's on my bed, texting with the bill. Roses in my wallet and I'm flexing it for real. Racks and racks and racks, I look like rookie of the year. Fronting with the cash, it's getting moody over here. Hunting's on my bed, texting with the bill. Roses in my wallet and I'm flexing it for real. Racks and racks and racks, I look like rookie of the year. Fronting with the cash, it's getting moody over here. I'm on my bling bling song, yeah. I could do this all day long now. I don't know where I belong now. Tell me where it all went wrong yeah, now. Yeah. Oh no no. Oh please don't go. I got shows. I'm on the road. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Gabe Game Show. And I'm trying to do something different. You know, get a, you know, I'm usually doing sports games. That's why you see the sports game intro because I barely, I haven't planned an intro yet. But we got Freezer Rays and the Magians, Earthlings, Saiyans, Majins. We're gonna create a male Saiyan. We're playing Dragon Ball Z Universe Two. We're gonna try to make this a whole series. We're gonna try not to, you know, stop this series like how we stopped every other series. And the only reason I'm trying to try Dragon Ball Z Universe Two is because, in my opinion, I feel that Madden 18 is pretty much dying. Even though I just came out with a gameplay. If you want to see that, the link will be in the description below, along with the first Dragon Ball Z Universe Two gameplay. I did the link to that would be in the in the description below when I play with my Freezer as character and my Saiyan. But I'm here to create a male saying today we're gonna do the whole story mode, like training, parallel quests, everything. After done with the original story, we're gonna buy some DLC packs, we're gonna open those. I know about the Ultra Instinct Goku and all of that. But I wanna take it back to the beginning. I wanna start from the bottom and work my way back up. I wanna earn my way to that level 80 to get that Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, even though I secretly already got it. Psst, it's on the low. But I'm not gonna equip any of that yet until I see it's time to be fit. As you see right here, I'm trying to pick a chin. I pick seven, and I'm gonna go with small ears. Gonna be like big ears on my character. If that sound wrong, do not make it sound wrong, Trayvon. But um, <laughs> we're gonna go with the black hair, and we're gonna try to make a battle suit. But we want it similar because you know Vegeta's my favorite character. If you guys don't know that, but we're gonna try to make it similar to Vegeta's, but not just like Vegeta's, because I want my own style to it. Even though I like the way that my favorite character clothes himself. We're going to stick with the white and brownish armor, but we're going to go black underneath versus the blue. This will be his um, Saiyan armor just for now because I think we should wear a gi. I'm going to, um, the first couple of episodes, I'm going to try a Capsule Corp gi. I'm going to try a Capsule Corp gi, and if that doesn't work, we'll switch it up to something else. And we're going to be having, like, let's say episodes when I just want to focus on parallel quests and training, you know, to get better at the game. As you see, I'm trying to listen to these voices. These voices are... Kinda of wearing thin because I don't I'm trying to see this one. Believe it! That one just sounds all wrong number eight. But um This one sounds a little decent actually. Number ten. Uh, that was terrible. That one's terrible. See it's hard trying to find a good voice, you know. But I'm gonna go with twelve because I, I I think it's good. I think it's good. I had seven on one of my characters, but then I wound up not liking it because the way he said Kamea Maya. But we're going to go with Jokan because I've seen, I like the fusion between Goku and Gokan if you watch Dragon Ball Fusions. And I think Jokan would be a better version than that, but not as a fused character, as an actual Saiyan baby, a full-blooded Saiyan. You could tell because his hair is black. As Vegeta stated in Dragon Ball Z in the episode when Goku came out the hyperbolic time chamber and uh, he noticed that he never needed a haircut. Then Vegeta said a pure Saiyan's hair doesn't change from the day that he is born, which is true. And I'm going to pick balanced here. And we're going to drop right into these cutscenes. I'm Sorry to my cut out. But, um, yeah, we're going to get right into these cutscenes, guys. Last time I gaze upon this planet. It's up to me. I will change the future.
attacking us! So the legendary Super Saiyan has shown up. How very unsavory. Allow me to continue my vengeance. This... this will change everything! Vegeta! What? I finished that training armor you asked me for. <laughs> I found some wonderful material, so it should fit you like a glove compared to the old stuff. That's right! I made some state-of-the-art armor for my hard-working husband who doesn't even have a real job. I'm such a caring wife, aren't I? Oh, come on! Ugh, every day it's training, training, training! Are all Saiyans like this? For goodness sake! Ugh, you really know how to tick me off! Maybe I should just throw a huge birthday party! Not that it's anyone's birthday. One incoming report. Upon assessment of the situation, I have concluded that... Just wait one minute. What, what, what was that for? You've been specifically chosen for that critical mission. Now go out there and do it! Why? All right, so I'm back with the commentary. I thought you guys want to hear, you know, Vegeta and Bulma talk for a minute, you know. But the Supreme Cot of Time is welcoming me. And sorry, I just bumped my elbow on something. Now, this, I believe, is Katan City, for you guys that don't know. Let's see what the Supreme Cot of Time has to say. Welcome back, Welcome home. Big Fella. 
Great news! You've been chosen yeah, for that big mission. Yeah, I've been chosen mission. for that big mission. Congrats. I don't need the congrats. I already know. Oh, cheer up! The Supreme Kai of Time has graciously appeared to give you her best wishes. After all, I mean, Supreme Kai of Time, you're not that important. Don't you think you're being a bit cold? See. My character's oh. even <laughs> my character's even confused on how important man. you're supposed to be. When he heard you passed the test, he went off somewhere in a hurry. Yep, got a mosey on to find the elder Kai, right? Why don't you go and look for him? You know what? I'm pretty sure that he was the happiest to hear about. Yep, I've had a lot of success. <sighs> loading screen, a loading screen. I hate like um in Dragon Ball Xenoverse too, like the loading screens. It's not too long. But like when you play online, sometimes the lag—that's that, what really—that's what really gets me in this game. Because like when you play online, the, it just lags so bad. Like they don't even be so close to you. Like they'd be like, I say three inches far away from you, and the hits be still hitting you. <sighs> I should have skipped the loading screen. I don't know why I still kept recording. All right, so it says the old man ran away. It said he have head to the building over there, the one with the big light bulb in front. <laughs> the big blue light bulb. Uh, somebody must have seen something. You should try and ask around. Hurry up. There's no time to waste. Oh, that reminds me. Even you're in a hurry. You can't wait to fight. You can't wait to fly yet. Oh, she's telling me about how I don't have a fly license yet. Basically, I don't have that yet. It is dangerous to fly here. Reckless, like... That you need a flying license before you can fly in Kantan City. I know I need a license before I can fly in Kantan City, ma'am. Alright, these are just the controls. I'm just going to let you guys pause the video if you want to, guys want to read through any of these. Because I don't got time to read controls all day. Because I'm trying to get straight into some gameplay, technically. But I'm going to let you guys, you know, see this in case you're new to the game. You want to learn how to play this, that, and the other. And I think it's very important information if you really look at it. If I need to look at it, I'll just go back and look at it from the robot. That should be on my left side. But... It's basically telling you what everything is and how you can get to it. Hold R2 to access the map. I have to do this. It's not something I can skip. They're not going to let me move unless I do it. But I'll be back with you guys. I'm going to change Joe Khan's clothing to how I want him to dress. And once I change his clothing, clothing is done. Now, since Joe Khan's clothing is all the way done, I feel that we should change up some stuff i'm trying not to use like super saiyan guy super saiyan super saiyan kaioken not just yet i probably will use kaioken you guys let me know down in the comments if i should put the kaioken on him or not but i am not going to use any transformation for now we're going to go with energy charge i'm going to use moves like i don't know something that'll fit him but not like too advanced move i do have most of these moves on lot because you know i have a female saiyan out of freezer as character obviously i properly completed the game before but for you guys that are just joining the channel and things like that the people that don't know about Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 I'm not gonna spoil it for you we're gonna play it for this series right here we're gonna get all of this to go you know in the momentum streak you feel me you feel me and we're gonna um we're gonna have some fun because I don't have any other series to do and I don't know Madden 18 we could possibly still do it if you guys really want me to do Madden 18 gameplay like say for instance you want me to play like some Mud Squad that video was released the link will be in the description below it should be um I could do Mud Draft I could continue to Isaiah Gabriel's career mode but I think that the career mode should be over with because of the fact that I don't know it, it's not that much to um accomplish aside and I don't have any attribute points it's not that much to accomplish as um I usually used to do in Madden 18, I don't know. It feels like the game's just, you know, dying, you know. And I feel that I should get out of my comfort zone. I should play something other more than sports games. And I forgot I got to go to the map icon, talk to them first. Tofu, tofu. It's kind of like tofu, ain't it? I'm gonna talk to him because he has the same haircut as me. Hey, Dad. <laughs> hey, how are you doing? Something doesn't matter. You're looking for Elder Kai? Yes, I'm looking for Elder Kai. He was walking around down a little bit ago. Uh, he suddenly went large and took off. Oh, where to take off to, Tufu? Do you know where the clothing shop is over there? He went down the road just past it. Oh, so he went down the road to the clothing shop. Esquire. Oh, so I gotta ask someone else where you went. He usually was in there. I wonder what happened. Right, he's an old man. How's he traveling this far? And I know he's an old man probably with bad lungs. How's he moving this much? I don't know how to pronounce the name, and I'm not even going to try. Why are you running around like that? Oh, Hello. let me guess. You're looking for Elder Kai. Oh, dude, I'm looking for Elder Kai. I saw someone. 
I'm, I saw him walking down the road. And he, he was busy. Yep, he suddenly ran off towards the reception area. All right, so now they want me to go about a parallel quest desk, I guess. The reception area is large. I know it has the yellow HUD, basically. But let me go over there. Let's see if we can talk to some Elder Kai. I know he's going to have some training for us to do. I'm guessing. It's him or the Supreme Kai. I forgot. Because it was... After I beat the game, you know, after I did the um, video of the unboxing, I played it for that couple of weeks. You have to get the Elder Kai. He went left to do a reception area. He took off towards the time nest. Huh, now I gotta go to the time nest. Uh, the time nest. Yeah. On your map. Yes, I know what's available on my map. <sighs> if you're lost, just use your map. Wow. But yeah, as I was saying, guys, I kind of forgot <laughs> what certain stuff was. Because after I um unboxed it and I played through the story mode, I should have just did that right away while I was in the midst of Madden 18. But it's been a lot of stuff going on since then. Um, after I played through the story mode a couple of times, which is probably, like, what, three, four times. You know how many characters I got. I played through the story about three, four times, and I stopped playing. The last time I played, actually, was when I did that game plan certain times on the League of Uh, you're late. Where have you been wandering off to this time? I mean, all this time. It's, uh, you're saying it's your fault. Stop blaming me for, stop blaming others. <laughs> your point. Oh, she's telling me stop blaming him for my mistakes. Uh-uh. Hmm. Now, listen up. You've been chosen for a very special mission. I know I've been chosen for a very special mission. This grants you an honor. You'll be the only second elite member to ever do this. Oh, only the second elite member? I'm guessing that's my dude from Xenoverse 1. It was the first one. Your job is to travel the time and changes in history that have been made and fix any errors that have occurred. That may have occurred. Tomato, tomato, still a tomato. However, you still need as much learn. First, you should learn wisdom. <sighs> so you should tell me I should be smarter, huh? Basically. Once the change has been made in history, it becomes this change. changed. Oh, so same thing as universe one. You had to travel through time for enemies. Because the parallel costs become stronger, like some new things. I don't know how to head over there to areas in history. Oh, so you're trying to give me the time patrol right out the gates. Wait, aren't the controls different? Okay, uh, off you go. Hey, wait just one moment. Well, a moment, one moment. Why isn't it the Supreme Kai of time? Why am I reading and he's talking? But, um, yeah, as I was saying, I don't lost track of what I was saying. I'm recording this at night in case you guys know. That's why I'm, um, kind of losing track of like certain things I say. Sometimes I say something that's like completely out of proportion. And that's because I'm kind of tired, but I feel like I should get this ready tonight because I don't want to procrastinate on it any longer. And if you guys like this series, please leave a like, comment, subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. I'm going to start posting a whole series on this. I'm going to try my best to do a whole series on this. All right. So, hmm, who should I pick? Should I go right into the story? With Elder Kai, or should I do some training? You know what? I'm gonna do some training. Welcome, wise, powerful Supreme Kai. It's time he it? is here to teach you the secrets of battle. You should be honored. Okay, you ready to start? Yes, I'm ready to start Supreme Kai of Time. All right, complete the challenges. Lose conditions only if you quit. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. It's very important that we shall get started. All right, the art of battle. So I'm guessing this is a tutorial to teach me the art of fighting in this game. Since I haven't played for, you know, a couple right. of months, you know, since I posted Ready. that video. Then and I completed begin. the game, I'd say, a Today, week or two after I posted the video. Game. So, and that was with a couple of characters. Because when I got the game, I played all night. I was okay, really be done with um, my female saying Mia. And um, I'll say, I'll say it took a day and a half. Because I stayed up all night and played it. It took about a day and a half. Sure says, hold L2 and tilt the left stick to boost dash. Oh, um, dash. There we go. What's up, uh huh? Moving on. All right, so it's ascend and descend. It's going up and going down. Hold L2 while tilting or flicking. Yeah, this is what I was trying to do at first, because I wasn't getting what she was saying at first. Now, tap the X button to jump. We're going to jump real quick. Do some jumping jacks. Jumping jacks. Get some of those good jumps in. You feel me? You feel me? You all gotta exercise. 
Now she'll give me a partner. She'll give me. You should give me Son Goku. Give me a ride. Oh. I forgot who is the partner. Ah, uh, it's a Cyberman. Man, I literally haven't played this game in a minute. And the only reason I got Super Saiyan got Super Saiyan is because I was already a level 80. I just logged in and talked to Weeks because I had something I had to get it. But I only played with it one time. And I didn't use it in like battle. I just used it to see how cool it looked. Because I was trying to see if I should make an intro with it, but I don't know yet. I literally don't know yet. If you guys think I should make an intro just for this, let me know in the comments down below. If you think I should just use my same intro, you know. You'll blow by the time of the video again. So now I gotta press all the triangles for this combo. This is actually my favorite combo with a male saying. Oh, with the female saying, I like the square combo a lot. Now, three squares, two triangles, boom. Got it. So he's out. Now, what's the next thing? It's a pretty kind of time. That's really great. You got it. Hmm. So she's sending in the big guns. Three cyber. We've got strength in numbers. No Sorry, I just hit the arm. Alright, so I'm gonna find me. I also know I got two different targets. Alright, now I say fire pressing. Circle rapidly. So we're gonna fire these key blades, these key blades, these key blades. We're gonna fire these at the left side and then show them we ain't playing with them, big fella. We're gonna show them that we are not playing, big fella. This is my favorite type of key blast in this world. And the only reason I think I'm a real rusty in the game is because I have been playing Raging Blast 2 a lot uh, to the PS3. You gotta have fun playing it. This is my PC, you don't have a story mode. I like the gameplay for one. And also about Raging Blast 2, I do kind of like how the characters, how you can edit like the items and things. That's what I kind of like to compare to this because like, you can give like go to a hero and like this piece or something like that like they got the partner customization you can change the the moves and things but what if i want to have you know what if i want to dress goku up in his um jacket gear that he wore back in the cell arc and kill him through the rock at him you know little things like that is what i want to do and it says circle plus x all right so i consume one bar of stamina but it does do a little bit of damage so let me try that one more time Come on, he's running. All right, there we go, there we go, there we go. Come on. All right, so why is it not doing that if I just did? Here, I gotta do it to a different one. Is that it? All right, now I say, during an aura burst dash, press X to maneuver behind. Oh, see, it's little things like this that I um haven't been able to properly execute because I've been playing it so long. This is. The first time I'm playing, actually a while. And it's just get the channel going, you know. I like to step out of my comfort zone from just a strict sports game type thing. I'm a gamer all along. I'll play any game that looks interesting to me. And trust me, Madden 19 drops will be right on that, like right on right. So I'm trying to think. Do you guys think when it come out, like, because you know Madden always come out with like a gold edition, gold edition, whatever you want to call it, it was gold this year. Do you think I should get the gold edition? Of Madden this year, you got no. I don't know. They probably have like a Nick Foles or something on the cover because he did win the Super Bowl. You're an offense expert. But I don't know. Tom Brady didn't win last year. I see. Did Tom Brady win the Super Bowl last year? Hold the phone. That's something I forgot about. See, the only reason I forgot about that because Seattle don't make the Super Bowl. I too many times I watch it. I did watch the Cam Newton and Peyton Manning Super Bowl. And oh my God, I'm getting keep from behind. I Cyberman. Come on, let me fly away from me. Press L1 to guard. All right, so that's that's the same way to block and rage and blast. It is L1 to block and rage and blast. So that's kind of how I'm moving. He's behind me, hitting me. And I'm trying to put my block up. All right, I say X to Z vanish. All right, now this wasn't in rage and blast. You were just hold the L1. And you just took the analog to the side. So I'm going to the front and use the thing. And I'm trying to fly away from it. It's too weak yet. How am I going to get rid of all of them? I think this is a test for rookies. This seems like an experience test. But the evasive worked good. The evasive skill worked good. Because even though I'm rambling sometimes, I do look at the controls. I do read along the way. I'm able to multitask all of that because I wouldn't be looking so skilled if I did. All right, so you talk less with evasive skills. Um, when I'm off camera today, when I'm done doing all of this, class, I know it's coming close to the end of this task, I'm going to go inside the hyperbolic. And I'm going to train. 
Wait, we're not done yet. I'm just gonna, um, go in there and test some stuff out. Now, I do not do this, but I think I can look at the last time. Yeah. I still know how to do it a little bit. Come on, come on. Alright, so now they send it too many of them, and I can't even use any, um, super ultimates yet. Alright, this says hold on to it. Alright, that's what I was trying to do. Super, super attack at first. Come on. The only good super attack I have is Meteor Crash. I don't like that dance or a giant storm. Come on, eliminate three of them. Oh, I only eliminated one. I didn't even kill them. Come on, eliminate three. Yes! Come on, three more. That's why I like the giant storm. It does get rid of multiple enemies. Come on, that time I got rid of one. We gotta try to get rid of three more. Come on. Y'all three coming? Y'all three coming? Come on. Boom! Got him. Giant storm again. Come on. One more time. We need three more kills. Ooh, that's two. One more person. Oh, you look like you want this kill, don't you, big fella? I got you, big fella. Three of y'all kill over the amount that I need, which was 12. Let's get it. All right. What else you got to teach us, Supreme Kai time? Let me know. Oh, you're a quick one. Yeah, no, I'm a quick one. Hmm. Far with oh, one of my fellow patrolmen, huh? What what patrolman wants to get their butt kicked right here, man? Come on, Supreme Kai Time. I know you can do better than that. And sorry about the voiceover that cut out between um me changing my clothes and things with my character because um the voiceover was kind of odd today. It it seems like it's good on point sometimes, but then it's kind of odd like I did when I did the first gameplay. But I'm gonna try to get that fixed, you know, because you know sometimes you know the devices be kind of tweaked. I got this. I hate to use a Z energy capsule when um my health don't even be that down. I don't like using good capsules when my health isn't really down. You know. Come on. Uh, got him. Come on, come on. Tell me I can with all this media crash. Come on. Fifty hit. Oh, I got a fifty hit combo. And a little storm. Come on. Got him. Yes. Come on. One more, one more, one more for good measure. Boom. Kill. Him. Boom shaka laka baby. Got him. Alright. So are we done Supreme Kai time or do we got more training to do big fella? Come on, I'm to see a finish. Man, that was kind of quick. But it was some good experience. I needed to get back on the sticks. Alright. Ooh, we're going up to a level two. A level, level, level two. And um That's kind of good. That's kind of good. We got the training part out of the way, the, the um creation out of the way, to get this series started. I think that's what exactly needed me to um be at the top of my game. And it's teaching you about dual ultimates and things like that for a new update for the 1.0.9 version of Dragon Ball Universe 2, which is dual ultimates, partner customizations, things of that nature. It'll um just teach you what it is basically. I already read all of this because I've been read it when the uh, DLCs first came out on the website. I'm just not going to purchase all of me. I'm going to purchase them when I'm done with the story so I can assure myself that I could play through the entire story then get to that because then if I jump right into that, I'm not going to want to play the real story because I already did the real story. I'm going to want to see something new. So, you feel me? That's how I'm going to do that. But... I think that'll be it for us, guys, for this episode. I think we're going to wrap it up today. And... Not because I don't want to play anymore today. The episode's 30 minutes, which isn't long, basically. But I think it's about time to be ready for the next episode. I'm standing proud, you feel me? I'm happy with what I accomplished today. But I'm just going to sit here. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe down below. If you're new, turn on post notifications. You'll never miss an upload. And I'll be back with you guys next time with a next Dragon Ball Xeno first 2 video.